Um, so your music yes. is very important to you. What's, uh, what's coming down the line? I don't know right now. I mean, we just literally finished the Lost Boys Ball tour uh, with nice. Live Nation and Warner Brothers, and that was kind of a kind of a package deal. We were promoting our album, but also promoting the new Lost Boys movie, right. Thirst. Um, and we did some music for the film, obviously. So that just came out like what a couple weeks ago. Um, and uh, right now, I'm kind of at a crossroads because I I don't know if I want to keep touring the album. We've done about 30 shows now, playing the full album. Um, so cool. it's fun. But it's a big production. It's a big undertaking. Right. And I have all these people come up to me in Hollywood all the time, like, "Hey, why don't you come play this place? Or why don't you come play that place?" And it's like, guys, you don't understand. I can't do it. You yeah. Know? It's like you know, trying to get like the wall in like you know an auditorium. Like it doesn't have. Not that we're that big, but I'm saying, no, you know, I hear it's you. that kind of a thing when you're talking geographics of how you actually fit something into. A, a small box so totally. the point is like maybe I, I might do something different and like I was thinking like it would be fun to create like a little garage band That'd go be back cool. to the basics and That'd be cool. you know, just play whatever um, or I might do another uh, solo album or I don't know I, I, I feel like I'm starting to get back in writing mode I mean I've been through a lot in the last couple of years so yeah, I think I've probably got a lot to yeah, talk yeah, about totally totally you know, so I think I'm probably going to go back to writing mode and, and maybe putting some new ideas together and so yeah that's cool now before or like there, there's the sequels of the Lost Boys, and everybody always wants like the Goonies sequel, including myself. And it, it, it's just, I think you recently spoke about how it might not happen, just because, just like yeah. it's been talked about so much. Like, would you rather have it not happen, like, like no, now? I'd or? still rather have it happen. I yeah. mean, it's a, it's a movie that I see the sequel being so obvious. It stuns me that it's been 25 years and nobody's done anything. Pretty crazy, about it. yeah. Um, but it's not for the lack of trying mm -hmm. you know I mean certainly you know from myself to Sean Astin mm -hmm. to you know the higher ups like Richard Donner and Spielberg everybody's at one point tried to make it happen right and it's really the resistance of the studio that's kept it from happening and mm -hmm. you know I mean look we just did this big Goonies 25th anniversary celebration pretty much all in year Portland, right the, well like, no well, we, did, well, we did the big four day festival oh, yeah, in Astoria yeah, yeah. right uh, where my band played and we did a big Goonies concert and that's tribute awesome. to Michael Jackson because he awesome. came to the set a lot and stuff like that so we did that and then we did a big like um, treasure hunt that's on the cool. on the lot of Warner That's Brothers, cool. and they gave away like five thousand dollars in cash prizes to contestants. That's really and cool. We did a big red carpet, the big screening of the movie, and it's like, you know, obviously they see what this movie is worth, <laughs> but at the end of the day, yeah. you know, they that just, just is that one thing that like. I mean, it, a, you know, unknown. I mean, I guess I understand it. You know, nobody wants to see a good movie get destroyed. And no, at the end totally. Of the day, yeah. That's kind of the fear is that. You know, you go and do it. So much then, magic was in that. Yeah. You know, like, you know, it's on right now, you know? Like, yeah. that's and, cool. And the thing is, like, I would never want to see it get remade. Like, to me, that would be a travesty. We saw what happened with Willy Wonka. Let's not totally. make the same mistakes and oh, expect no, different results because that's insanity, right? So, I don't think anybody wants to see that happen. Mm -hmm. um, I know they're talking a lot about possibly bringing it to Broadway, and apparently they're very close. That would be pretty cool. So, I'm hoping they find a place for me in that because I'd love to do Broadway. Just walk out and just be like, because he well, has the singing no. voice. And yeah, but I can't, I can't play mouth. You know, I'm a yeah. too old for that now, right? So, um, but, you know, maybe I'll play a Fratelli brother. <laughs> that would be awesome. Now, another thing in music right now is like a lot of people are saying that like the new song from Michael might not be his voice. Have you been able to listen to Breaking News at all? And I mean, I've only heard it on my iPhone, but you know, I said this yesterday. It was on you know whatever ET or where I mean they caught me last night coming out of the oh, club. Okay. The same answer, which is that I think it's all a bunch of media hype. Quite okay. honestly, it's you know. Look, it's Michael Jackson. Anything that surrounds Michael Jackson mm -hmm. is going to be surrounded with chaos and turbulence and right. media frenzy. And, you know, it's all part of the way he created the, uh, the outline. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I guarantee you this was all part of the master plan with putting this album out, you know, and right. releasing it as the first single. Because, totally. you know, if you, if you go back to, like, his last album, uh, Invincible, there was mm -hmm. a song on it called 2000 Watts, yep. which, you know, he sang in a lower register, mm -hmm. and that was eight years ago, so I mean, you know, you have to put eight years of age into the mix, and you have to go, you know, look, he's older, and, you know, it's a lower Your register, voice changed it, so it's what? to bring I mean, the different yeah. delivery, yeah, because I heard it, and I was just like, you know, there he is, but then this is where I could see questions, but then I was just like... The bottom line is Sony Records, which is, you know, They're the most gonna, powerful record company in the gonna, world, is not yeah. going to go and, you know... <laughs> 
put out some false album saying it's Michael Jackson, they right. would just say, hey, it's, you know, an album that sounds like Michael Jackson. <laughs> but I mean, come on. They've got like 5,000 songs sitting in a vault. So right. why would they need to put out one that's not him? It exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Exactly. It's silly. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thanks. It's an honor. Take care. Thank, thank you. you.